Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone Today we will be solving linear inequalities by using of a graph Okay So there are only two rules when it comes to um, solving linear inequalities by graphing And not necessarily rules, things to follow First one is you know, you need to know how to graph And you can check um, our video on how to graph um, linear equations or inequalities so, uh, so that you will be reminded of how to do it and it's actually quite easy uh, the way i thought it is by using the intercepts okay and then the next one is you need to test values again you need to graph and then you need to test values because when it comes to ano, um call this when it comes to linear inequalities um there are would be multiple of values that would be um, available for for your x's and y's okay so we 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 can see that very well when we go to the graph itself and we shade those values okay so maybe let's start now um solving linear equalities by graphing let's have our first example being x plus 2y is greater than uh, is less than 4 again what we need to do when we graph um uh, linear inequalities or equality is we use the intercept method okay in the intercept method i will assume that x is 0 and also that y is equal to 0 okay having x is 0 here meaning all the x here will be cancelled out or they would be um, assumed as 0 so 0 plus 2y is less than 4 and 2y is less than 4 or we can assume it also at equals as equals and then y is less than 2 when we transpose this to here okay so what would happen here would be our y value would have a point at positive 2 and next one y would be 0 x plus 2 times 0 is less than 4 x let me just move this a little bit x is less than 4 and and so since x is already alone we can now assume that um, our point for x axis for the x axis is positive 4 so we we can check our given um whether it falls mainly on the first second third and fourth quadrant by just simply checking the sign since the, since the sign of this one is for the x it's positive and for the y it's also positive so therefore we would fall mainly on the first quadrant so uh, we we should limit we could limit our graph um the graph look by just simply um making a graph that is that has a big part for the first quadrant okay so plotting the x would be one two three four this is our x as four and we have y as two one two positive two let's plot the points using a green marker so two and four and then let's just simply um connect the two lines at uh, the two points i mean oh sorry so connecting the two points let me just okay okay here okay there you go so when we connect we have our graph already so if we have your graph already like like so yeah what what's the next thing you need to do is you need to test values test value test values of what you need to test values um either from the upper part of your graph or the lower part of your graph okay so you need to test those values and for example in this case i want to test the values of zero zero because then again boys and girls the best place to test your um your values would be at zero zero why is it the best to test at zero zero because you can immediately solve for your ano, for your equation because what happens when you test at 0 0 so this is step a so let's go to step b test values okay because when you test values at 0 0 x and y will be Im um, immediately eliminated so let me write that one properly 0 plus 2 times 0 is less than 4 why is it like this because your x is 0 here your y is 0 here okay and then of course 0 plus 2 times 0 it would give us with 0 is less than 
4, then you ask yourself, is 0 less than 4? Okay, is 0 less than 4? If the answer is yes, I call that if yes, shade towards 0. If no, shade away, away from 0. So shade away from 0. Since the answer here is yes, therefore, our values will be shaded towards, I mean, our graph will be shaded towards 0. So having that shade, let's use the orange marker. Yeah. Our value would be shaded towards 0. Meaning, all the values that will be shaded, okay, all the values included in the shading. Let me fix my shading. Yeah. All the values that will be included in the shading would be a solution to your given um, inequality. Again, all the values that will be included in your shading will be a solution to your given inequality. So maybe let's try to test. Um, let me ask you guys, is this a solution? Definitely not because it's not part of your shaded region. Is this a solution? This is point um, 3 and 3 and 3. This is not a solution. Why is it not a solution? Because it's not part of the shaded region. But if I may ask you guys, is this um, point a solution? Yes. Why is it a solution? Because, sir, um, it's part of the shaded region. Okay? So meaning, guys, all part of the shaded region would be part of the solution. The same goes, let me just write that down. So, um, here, it's a note. All um, points that is part of the shaded region is a solution. Okay, and we have a special note again. The special note would be if it is if less than and greater than, then the line is not part of the solution. I'll explain later back it, back it, why we are saying that. And next one, if greater than or less, uh, less than or equal and greater than or equal, then the line is part of the solution. Is part of the solution for a while. Okay, it's part of the solution. Okay, again, if it is, um, what do you call this? If it is uh, less than or greater than, then the line is not part of the solution. If it is less than or equal or greater than or equal, then the line is part of the solution. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Remember, class, that in our given shading, okay, so we're done with the shading and also finding the solution. Um, we can also take points from this point. Yeah. And this is still part of the shaded part. It's still uh, we, it's just in the boundary of the shaded part and also of the non-shaded part. This point here on the point, um, let me change the color. This point in the violet, okay, it's in the boundary of the shaded region and at the same time of the non-shaded region. This is the non-shaded. Let me just go. This is the non-shaded. Shaded. And this is the shaded region, okay? So you may ask, sir, where will it fall? Is it a solution or not? Because since it's already on the shaded region. So maybe let's try to find out. This specific point is um, has a coordinate of 0, 0, and 4. And let's test it out. Will it be, um, will it be less than 4 or greater than 4 or whatever? So remember, our equation is x plus 2y. So our equation is x plus 2y is equal is less sorry it's less, I think it's less than it's less than 4. And remember that violet point would have a coordinate of 0 for I mean 4. 4 and 0. Okay? That coordinate will have a an ordered pair of 4 and 0. Nakamali ako dito on the part. Let me just change this one. Ayan. Now knowing that this one is 4 and 0. Okay, knowing that this one is 4 and 0, we can now test in our equation if this um, given point is a solution to our 
linear inequality. So, being 4 as x, so we have 4 plus 2 times 0 is less than 4. Then, this would be 0, definitely. And you will be asked, is 4 less than 4? Okay, so if, if the answer is, of course, no, because 4 is definitely not less than 4, but 4 is equals to 4, right? Therefore, the answer is no. Therefore, therefore this 4 and 0 is not a solution. And this goes to show for, for every given point in the line. This goes to show that every given point in the line, in this point, in this point, in this point, these violet points, they are not a solution. They are not answers, basically. So, meaning, if you have this less than symbol here, you will see it here. If you have this less than symbol, the line will not be included. But if you have that um, greater than or equal, less than or equal symbol, then the line is also included in the solution. Okay? And that would be just the side note for this answer. So, basically, our, our method would be this. You graph and then you test values. And when it comes to testing values, after you test values, you will simply shade. Okay? And you will assume that all, all the solutions that is part of the shading is, uh, I mean, all the points that is part of the shading is part of the solution. Okay? And this would be our ruling. This would be our ruling when it comes to our shading. If you satisfy the, the inequality, then you shade towards the test value. If no, then you shade away from that test value. And just remember this side notes, okay? So, for us to better understand about the concept of less than or less than or equal, let's have an example having that um, condition, okay? So, say we have um, y is less than or equal to 5x. I mean, we let's have something, whole, a whole number. Okay, let's have this one. 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 6, okay? So, the first thing that we do again, we graph and we assume that x is 0 and our y is equal to 0. So, assuming that x is 0, I will immediately answer y is greater than or equal to 6. And assuming that y is 0 here, um, x is greater than or equal to 3, I guess. Is it 3? Yes. Okay, so let's plot now the points in our Cartesian plane. Um, this one is both positive, so we will deal more with the x-axis. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's extend a little bit. 6. Okay, so we have 6 here, and then we have 1, 2, 3. This is our... Sorry, I'm not gonna do a point there. 3. And then we plot the points using the green marker. Plot and plot. And then we connect so that we will have our line. So connecting this, uh, give me a minute. Okay, let's connect these things. So when we connect these things like so, okay, we will now go to our second um, step, which is of course testing the values. Okay, testing the values of course, I did told you guys that it's easier to take values from the 0, 0, okay? The origin. So, testing the values at the origin will give us, this is test values, test value at 0, 0, giving us with 2 times 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 6, is greater than or equal to 6. And therefore, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 again. 0 is greater than or equal to 6. So, let me ask you guys. Since there is an e or equal here, is 0 greater than 6? Definitely not. Um, wait lang, dito na sa baba. Not. Okay? And is 0 equal to 6? Also not. Therefore, the answer here is no. And remember, when the answer is no, okay, shade away. Away 0. And if the answer is yes, shade towards. So, the answer is of course no. So, what would happen here is we will shade away from 0. So, shade away. Yan. Yeah. sa kabilang side. Kasi of course, it's not part of the solution, the 0. So, we shade away. So, what's the next thing that we need to do? 
we need to identify whether the line itself is also a solution or not. Okay? And of course, since that is greater than or equal, definitely the, the line is a solution. So how do we test whether the line is, the, is really a solution or not? Let's take this point in the violet. Let's take this point um, 3 and 0. Okay? So that is one point in the line. So try 3 and 0. Okay? So trying 3 and 0 will give us um, 3, 2 times 3 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 6. Okay? And we will have 6 is greater than or equal to 6. 6 is greater than 6. Yes. And 6 is not equal to 6. Yes, no. But then again, when it comes to the greater than or equal, just satisfy satisfy 1. Isa lang yung kailangan yung satisfy and therefore you're already good. Okay, therefore this is true. Then, we can assume that then then 3 and 0 is a solution. So, it's a solution therefore. Okay? So, uh, let's have another test. Again, we have a lot of values in our um, shaded region. Okay? Maybe let's test this value here. It's part of the shaded region and this one is 2 and 6. This is 2 and 6. So, let's try 2 and 6. 2 and 6. Okay? So, trying 2 and 6 will give us 2 times 2 plus y is 6 is greater than or equal to 6. Then, we have 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 6 is greater than or equal to 6. And 10 is greater than or equal to 6. Definitely, guys, that 10 is greater than 6. If that is satisfied, if that is true, then 2 and 6 is a solution. Okay? So, that would be our uh, method in solving for linear inequalities. Okay? And that is just uh, one one linear inequality. In our future um, uh, lessons, we will be discussing about systems. Okay? Wherein systems of linear inequality will be the same as linear systems of linear equality. Okay? We are finding, we will be finding the solution that will satisfy both inequality. It's just like combining these two. These two graph. This, two, uh, this uh, x plus 2y is less than 4 and this 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 6. Okay po? So, then again, thank you for listening everyone. If you would have any other questions, you can um, review the video. Or you can, of course, um, chat me in our chat box. Thank you for listening and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.